y'all. Long time no see. It has been, I don't even know. I don't even know why I'd be trying to tell y'all how long it's been. It's been a long time. I don't know if I'm going to integrate this into my already existing vlog or if this is going to be a new vlog. I have no idea. But we are here about to take our abdominal board exam, y'all. I am low-key so stressed out, but I'm ready to get it over with just because I feel like, you know, I've done the work. I've been prepared. Um, I'm just kind of going over my notes one last time, and then I'm going to go in here. My test is scheduled for 8 o'clock, and I'm pretty early. It's 7.31 right now, but when I tell y'all I did not sleep last night, I did not sleep. I don't know what it was, but for whatever reason, this preparing for this one bothered me much more than the other two that I've taken like my physics and vascular board this one right here has stressed me completely out like I didn't do anything this weekend I went dark I haven't vlogged nothing nothing at all so my stomach has been in knots all night which was mainly the reason why I could not sleep is just my stomach but then also just I don't know the nerves man the nerves so I'm just kind of looking through this, um, I'll like my, all my notes real quick just to get one more just look through and then I'm going to go in here and get this over with. I feel pretty confident. I just, I don't know y'all. I hope that I don't come out here with, with my confidence shattered, but I really have done the work. So I'm going to let y'all know how I go. Um, pray for me y'all. Here we go. I said I would never get on camera and cry, but here I am. I just got off the phone with my mama, and I passed y'all, I passed. I didn't feel like I was getting any of those questions right. It was a few of them, but most of them I felt like I was guessing on. So the pass, you need a 555, y'all. I got a 560. I got a 562. Like literally by the skin on my teeth, but it counts. And I'm just, I'm so happy right now. I know I'm crying and y'all probably thought that I failed, but really these are just tears of like trials and tribulations. So to be here and to actually have my credentials attached to my name means everything to me. And I'm so sorry I'm crying on here because I hate people who cry on camera. I think it's so cringy, but I had to show y'all the real raw footage of this moment. Regardless of if I would have passed, I would have still came on here and talked to y'all about it. But I don't know, man. I, I, I barely made it, but we made it. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to my parents. My mom and my dad have been there with me every step of the way. I'm so grateful for Jehovah God for overseeing this and guiding every step that I've taken on this path, on this journey, listening to me every time I've cried, every time I wasn't sure, he's been there. Oh man, I'm about to go get me some Starbucks because I didn't get any earlier because my stomach was in shambles, but now I'm about to treat myself to Starbucks and yeah, I don't know what I'm doing the rest of the day, I just need to calm down and I'll come back on here a little later. myself together I could not be on this camera crying like that so I had to take the rest of today yesterday for myself just to get myself together because I felt like every time I talked about it I cried every single time I talked to my mama I cried I talked to my auntie I cried I talked to my boyfriend I cried everybody I talked to I was boohooing and they was happy tears but every single one of those people that I named have been here with me through this whole journey like School has taken me way longer than it should have, um, just for the simple fact that I've had to start over more than once. So with that being said, like, I just want to take the time out to thank every single one of those people that I named, my auntie, my mom, my boyfriend, my dad. Everybody has been super, super, super supportive during this time. And I know without their support, things would have been 10 times harder. Like there's been so many times where I'm like, man, I just don't think that I can do it. And, like I said, every single one of those people is like, you got it. Like, you're literally built for this. So, yeah, y'all. Um, today is Wednesday. I had my test yesterday on Tuesday. So, today I am headed to work. I just have my regular work shift from 9.30 to 10. I might try to get off a little bit early only because my mom is coming into town. She was flying here to help support, like, during, after the test, like, 
a sudden event that I didn't pass, but you know, really she had been speaking into existence that I was going to pass either way. So she was already in her mind, she was coming to celebrate. <laughs> so luckily that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, and as y'all know, I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so it kind of sucks that I'm gonna be at work majority of the days that she's here. And then to make it even worse, of course, Saturday, Sunday, I have a training that falls on that day. So we'll be learning transcranial Dopplers on adults and pediatrics, and it's just split down into two days. So I'm thinking that it might get out a little bit earlier than that because they give us time for a scan and portion. So they're gonna teach us the material and then give us time to like practice it on each other. So I think it'll be a really good training class. I had always been interested in neuro, but it's kind of hard to find places that offer it. So the fact that I had found this one and it wasn't even something that was on my radar anymore. Um, I don't know that there'll be like a pay increase attached to it unless you go and sit for a board exam. So I'm not sure. And I'm, that's another thing that I'm really excited about, like to see what my raise is going to be with this new board exam that I have. I might be able to share with you guys the dollar amount of the raise. I'm not giving you guys my total, like what I make, but I can tell you the dollar difference between the two once I find out what it's gonna be. But yeah, so this weekend we are just going to try to juggle everything. I'm gonna try to juggle work and also spending time with my mom. And I kind of was wanting to go to this thing. Y'all, I'm getting old, but Bow Wow's coming in town and just growing up, that was like my, that was my man. You couldn't tell me nothing. That was my man. Like, I was a Bow Wow fanatic. Like, I loved him. So, I just think it would be fun. He's having his, um, like a concert or something. Not even a concert. I don't know what it is, child. Bow Wow gonna be here. And I was thinking about going because it's supposed to be, I don't know. I just think it would be nostalgic and fun to go. So, that's on Sunday. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing that or not, but that's the day that I had said I wanted to go out anyways. Since, like I said, I got that conference on Saturday and Sunday, and it goes from 8 a.m. to 4 both days. So we gonna see. We'll see. I don't know. But either way, I'm gonna pick y'all up at some point today and let y'all know how work is going or how it went, just depending on when I'm able to get back to my camera. And I'll let y'all know if I was able to leave early. I'm gonna get here at 10 and like I said, I gotta be here at 9.30. I'm almost there. So, I don't know. I'll keep y'all updated. Y'all know y'all be one of the first people to know. I hope everybody's having a wonderful and productive day. And if it's not super productive, I hope it's productive in the sense that you're just getting rest for your mental health. Like, because that's important too. Some days you need to just do nothing. Like, nothing. But all right, y'all. So, as promised, here I am checking in. Um, I've been here. It is now... 6 15 so i've been here pretty much all day y'all know i get here at 9 30 and it's been a pretty good day like almost too good of a day i've only done like four patients maybe six but it's been kind of slow like now that i've said that i'm probably gonna go back in there and it's probably gonna be a million waiting on me but i'm gonna try to get out of here early today my mom is in town and i haven't seen her and i am actually working this weekend which never happens but for whatever reason it falls on the week that my mom is here so I'm gonna try to get out of here early and take her out to eat. My relief comes at seven and usually I would stay till 10, but I'm gonna get out of here when she gets here. And yeah, we'll go from there. But I just wanted to check in and tell you guys hello and let you know how the day was going. And from here, I will probably see you guys once I get off, once I get with my mom. It is a brand new day. I am finally about to celebrate my accomplishment of getting my board exam passed. So I'm headed to this little brunch with a couple of my friends. We're going to the spot that I've never been to. It's called Urban Egg. So I don't know y'all, we gonna see. I actually picked this place. I've never been here before. This is, it's out in Overland Park. So it was a little bit of a drive for me, like a 20, 25 minute drive, or probably not even that long, maybe a 20 minute drive. Uh, and I'm probably I'm five minutes away. Our reservation is at 1:30, but I'm gonna get there at 1:17. I really wanted to try to get some pictures, 
So I did my makeup, put on a cute little outfit, and yeah, I kind of have a busy day today because after the, right, literally right after this, I have to go home and get ready for my massage. And I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to take my makeup off because I've never gotten a massage with makeup on my face. I feel like it's just so counterproductive. Like, what's the point? <laughs> so, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. I might just leave it on because I feel like it's a waste of product to take it right off. But at the same time, I don't know that I'm doing too much else today besides this. I might go see my aunt, go over there, hang out for a little bit. But other than this and the massage, I don't think I'm going to have much to do. I, there was a party that I was thinking about going to, but I'm not going to have time. It's just not going to work with me trying to fit it in between everything. I want to say it's from 3 to 5, and like I said, my massage is at 3.30, so... It's just not gonna work. I was thinking that it was gonna be later in the day, like, I don't know, after five or something, but it is not. So, yeah, I'm gonna take y'all along with me. It's just been a really weird transitional phase for me, y'all, cause I'm in the process of working on my house and I haven't really been able to film because my space is just so hectic right now. Like, I just feel like I have stuff everywhere, but it's because all my rooms are kind of broken down. So my bed, my master bedroom that we usually sleep in, I haven't been in that room. We actually moved everything to the middle bedroom because that bedroom was painted and uh, fixed up and everything like that. So we moved like our bed set, all that stuff in there for now until we get the master bedroom finished. We just got it painted. She still has to come in and paint the trim. So I'll show y'all that once I get home, like the new colors and what's, what it looks like with nothing in the room. But y'all, I was asleep and the ceiling fan in the master bedroom fell down. It was already hanging. Like that's why we was working on it anyways. It was already in really bad shape. But I thought somebody like kicked in my house. The It literally snapped off the wires and fell down onto the floor. So we heard it crash down, the glass broke and everything like that. So I'll show y'all that too, cause I haven't picked it up. I was in a rush. So I was like, I'll just deal with this later when I get home. Cause the lady who's working on my house, I don't think that she's coming over today um we kind of have a lax relationship like she'll just kind of let me know when she's coming as long as it's not too ridiculous of a time frame I'm not really too worried about it so she's really affordable and I've been able to get a lot done so I think I'll continue to use her because my goal in the long run is I want to get the house just up to par with the aesthetic that I really want it to be so it's an older house and that's the kind of the hang up and yeah it's just it, it, things like that take time so that's what i've been doing just working on that day by day and yeah with that being said filming has been extremely difficult like i just do not want to do it in that space it's just so much going on like i have people in and out taking things in and out i have carpet being placed like it's just one thing after the next and it's kind of overwhelming like with me studying for my board exam and everything like that i was already overwhelmed and then to add that into it too was like almost too much for your girl so it was definitely a little break i haven't picked up my camera i'm gonna say in about five days and i haven't edited or uploaded a video in a while i think my last video went up two weeks ago at this point you guys are gonna see this way later but yeah i gotta try to figure it out y'all get back into my schedule because i really do enjoy creating content so i just need to get back to that Although I've been overwhelmed, I just need to kind of, I don't know, look at the bigger picture and see what my goals are and go from there. Because I know what it is that I want to do with this channel, so that's what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, I'm going to take y'all in here and yeah. Name another nigga hot, I'm just sunnies. Gold balls on bottles, I'm just sunnies. 100,000 on watches, I'm just sunnies. Oh, oh, I got the chicken. You can put chicken bread. I got the chicken, the turkey bacon. Yes. Oh, we are in our Oh, we are. We're doing good, y'all. This is so much for me. It can be. I'm a rock star for life. I'm just being honest. Got a check coming right now, I'm just being honest We done turned up and black, then we're going to hit honest Ain't nothing but a dope boy, I'm... So it is 
is much later, but I wanted to make sure that I just took the time to show y'all what I had on today. Um, I want to start trying to incorporate this more. But this, I just had on this little bomber jacket. This is actually from Shein. And I think this is in like an olive color. And then I had on these cargo pants. And these came from Fashion Nova. I'm obsessed with these. I have these in like three different colors, y'all. And I love just a plain black tank top. No name brand or anything like that. And then I just had on my Yeezys for the shoes. So, yeah. But this was the fit. And then I also wanted to show y'all the room. Like, this is the room that we're in right now for the time being. So, let me show you guys the other bedroom. My master bedroom that is just about done. So, this is the front wall. And this is going to be like the accent wall. It's black. And the rest of the room is white. Still not finished. And this is the ceiling fan I told y'all fell. So I have this ring light in here. I was actually taking pictures in here earlier today. And it's like this little bookshelf when you walk in. So I have this. I like how she did the white and black. I actually didn't tell her to do that. She just did that on her own. And I like how it came out. So this is the room, and then obviously we're going to work on the air conditioner unit in here. Get that looking a lot nicer. But yeah, y'all, I'm super excited about how this is coming out. I'm going to take y'all along this entire journey. So if you guys are into any like house updates or house decor type of stuff, this will be your series. But okay, guys, good night. I will talk to you all tomorrow. I wasn't aware that if you go to um, Smoothie King, they give you a little pup cup. I knew Starbucks did it, but I didn't know this Smoothie King did it. So he is about to love this. I'm gonna let y'all watch him eat this. <laughs> you want it? I don't know. He's unsure. He's not feeling it. Here. Why aren't you being picky? Mm. There you go. We decided to come out and get smoothies real quick because I wasn't doing nothing else today. I wanted to go get my brakes fixed, but the place that I was taking it to don't have a any openings today. So I gotta go next Monday. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna let him enjoy this and I'm gonna enjoy mine. I'll pick y'all up at some point today. Okay, so y'all, it is much later, and before I close this vlog out, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of the new Figs uniforms that I've grabbed up, um, or that I've grabbed in the last couple of, I'd say, a couple of weeks. So I'm going to try on three pairs for you guys. I have three different colors, I believe, so let's see. I'm going to get into this, and I'm going to show you guys a new top that I got as well. Okay, so y'all, this is the first one here. These are the Zamora Joggers. But I got them in the high-waisted version because the one that I had before this was not high-waisted. And I just felt like they didn't cover how I wanted them to. So I got them like in this size instead. These are still in the small. And then this is the top that I was telling y'all about. It's super breathable. I've worn this before and it's literally just like a... I, not mesh so I don't really know what to call the material but it's breathable and I really 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 like these I'm probably gonna get another one of these um and I kind of just wear it like this or just kind of up on the side and I'll typically have these tied up but I really 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 like the pants they fit perfectly I had sized up to a medium and they were just way too big in the waist so here we are and then I'm gonna try on I have a full length. This is the shorter length. I'm going to show y'all the full length ones. These are also high waisted in the black. I'm going to tag what these are called because I don't know. But, yep. Same thing, small. Really like them. The last color I'm going to try on for you guys. So, this is in the color Cement. Also high waisted. So at my job, I have to wear black tops, gray or black pants, and yeah, 
So I really, really, really like these. And then I also have these other ones um, that I've gathered over the time. Hold on. I actually just did laundry. This is a long sleeve version of this shirt that I have on. So this. And then I have this color here. This one. And this one. So just different variations of gray. And yeah, I just kind of go back and forth. I have a couple of different scrub tops as well. So, the pocket scrub top, and then I also have the one with just the one pocket at the, at the very top. And I like all three of them, honestly. I really like the breathability of this shirt, but I do like the scrub tops too. So, I highly recommend the Fig stuff. And then the last thing I got from Figs was the socks. So, I had I have a pair of Fig socks in a different color, like in this blue color, and I like them. They fit really well, and they stay on, so... I highly recommend all of their products. I really like everything that they have. Um, not sponsored, just a regular consumer. I can truly say that I like all their stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.